Hello friends, what's up? This is Ron here and in this King of Fires All-Star video, as you can guess already, we are going to take a good look at the trailer of Kusanagi and the trailer of Psyche, the human form. Now, it has been quite a uh, couple of days has been already passed uh, because I was kind of busy with some other important videos. So I couldn't really uh, do a reaction video of these two guys. And I guess uh, today is a good time to do this. And I'll be honest with you guys. I'm kind of waiting for that banner where Kusanagi and Psyche is going to appear because boy, I'm a sucker for actual evil characters. I do love Ash. I have no problem with him. He is also one of my favorite characters. But I think I love the version that we actually saw in the trailer of Psyche. So without much further ado, let's go and check out the trailer first. And then we are going to make comments on certain areas that needed to be commented on. Let's go. All right, all right, let's go. Here comes a new challenger. Whoa. Old character in new form, bro. His costume has been changed, but his skills, uh, not so much, I guess. But still, there are some touch. Look at this refinement. Look at the new addition and the finisher skill. Beautiful one. And the 3PG card. Nice art. Oh, this is beautiful, bro. This is so dope. So dope. So much goodness here. Thank you, Netmarble. Now, look at his entire costume and his body and everything. His face has been changed. His There has been change in his hair. His uh, shirt or the dress color has been changed. I think they have actually used some other uh, dress rather than the one we have already in the game. So, this thing has been changed. And overall, he looks a lot, a uh, bit more muscular than the SS version. So pretty much nice touch all around. And boy oh boy, I love the voice actor. He is so freaking desperate and amazing. He uses a lot of emotion in his voice, in his you know, display, display of anger. Feels so good. And of course you are going to find a lot of similarity in different skills. And many of the skills uh, will look like just the... SS Kusanagi SS version that we have already because why not they are the same character right they are the same characters maybe there can be a little bit changes here and there but eventually his skills should follow the original design and structure right so it's all right I think but uh, his skills of course looks very very smooth and very very fast however the SS version uh, of this character is already very fast, so uh, I mean, uh, you don't might, might not feel a little bit surprised, but the previous version is already fast and very, very good. Uh, but this version is going to be way better, and I think he's going to be a decent support, in my opinion. He's going to, and he should be a good support. The default finisher looks pretty tremendous to me. And it reminds me of the classic version of Kusanagi. And look at this. Oh, perfectly executed. And this card art looks nice, but nothing really special, you know. Typical, uh, the Kusanagi card should be like this, you know, fire. He has burn, of course. He has dot as uh, burn. And I don't really know if he has any other dot because his skills doesn't show, but... From here, we can definitely say that the enemy is burning. So there can be dot explosion. I don't really know. But of course, there will be that mechanism that he is also going to increase 5000% of physical damage when the opponent is going to be in some dot, probably burn. So this is also going to work with him. Now let's check out the finisher again. Beautiful, beautiful. I cannot say much about it. So good. Full screen animation entirely. Amazing, amazing upgrade. And I'm pretty much excited to see what his skills uh, and what his, uh, you know, you know, I mean, effects would look like. In ideal world, he should be a great support of the main diamond stealer who is going to be Psyche, but 
We never know NetMarble. We never know because NetMarble can always surprise us. So let's wait for a couple of more days uh, or maybe one more day to find out. All right, guys, it's time to review and check the trailer of the big guy who is coming on the volume two. That is Psyche with his human form. Wow, cannot wait. Let's go and have a look. Hell yeah, here comes a new challenger. Woohoo! Look at the changes in his face and the refinement. Wow, the wild. Those from the past. Oh my god. Ooh, darkness. I should believe that this guy has darkness. This is going to be the finisher. Whoa. Oh my god, the voice actor. A guy from hell, bro. And you guys can already see the refinement of the character. Oh my god. His hair has been refined. His face has been restructured. He, his face looks way better than the existing version. As you can compare. You can just compare side by side. Look at this. He looks a lot more manly. He looks a lot more cooler. I mean, just like a knight or something. Wow. Damn good, bro. Now, now some of his skills has been criticized. I don't know. A lot of people are actually having fun uh, about this uh, stone throwing skill. But honestly, guys, this is one of his uh, elements in the actual game. He also did it. And remember, guys, he is a member from those those from the past. He is not a human. And he probably lived in this world so many thousands, some millions years ago when they had to use stones for attack. So it goes perfectly with his character and his style. And you guys can already see that he is using that And I must say, guys, Netmarble actually won my respect by sticking to the original. This is very important whenever you recreate a character. And looking at some other skills, looks like this skill is definitely going to uh, have some dots. And I mean, we no, everyone can say probably that this character should have darkness and probably this character will have darkness for sure. But because he is the definition of darkness himself, right? Another skill, classic grab skill of Psyche. This skill probably if you have played the game in console actually probably this skill have annoyed you many many times. This same happened to be like in a slow pace. It is just so freaking annoying. And they also in, uh, incorporated this skill to this character. Pretty dope. Going to be this the finisher. Default finisher. A lot of lot of hits. Reminds me of Ash. And uh, also reminds me of Dark Ash, the darker BS Dark Ash that we are playing right now. With in uh, as we got BS in the Boss Syndrome uh, version of Dark Ash, and I'm pretty much excited to think about it. Even already thinking about it, that at some point we are going to get the ultimate Dark Ash also in King of Fires All Star, bro, bro, bro. A lot of excitement is coming, bro. Just wait for it. And just take a moment and look at this card art. Oh my god. In terms of design, Netmarvel has always kicked the ball out of the park. But look at this. A guy straight from the hell. Look at the glare of his eyes. And the darkness surrounded. Epic. Just epic. Now this finisher. Look at the finisher. Now look at this detail guys. These, these details. These, uh, these parts. These uh, yellow parts on his body through his muscles. This is not his usual design, but this only appears when he does the special skill. Freaking dope. And wait for it. Look at this. Oh, the voice actor. Oh my God. Whatever he says, just, you know, gets crazy. Makes me crazy. And wait a minute. Let's just, let me just go back and let me just show you something. If we just go back 
amazing, amazing details, amazing details into throughout the entire place. I mean, he turns the place into something else. He makes the hell, I think. And look at this, guys. These stripes are even visible from a long distance the, during the TPG. So it is very dope. And finally, we can see this uh, ultimate shape of this guy. Whoa, bro. Lots of lots of muscles. He doesn't really have any clothes on him because he doesn't need that because he's not a human. He is those from the past. Superb, superb design and I cannot wait to hand on this character. Thank you, Netmarvel, for bringing this evil force into the game. My goodness, cannot wait to summon him. So let me know what you think about this upcoming new character. And by the way, I am actually now streaming on Twitch every single day. Uh, and that is going to be European time. That is Berlin time, 7 p.m. That is 7 after the evening. And I stream uh, every day on Twitch and I talk with many people. We share a lot of information about the game. We talk about the update and we just have a lot of fun. So you are invited to watch my stream. I'll leave the link of my Twitch account in my description. Please follow, please support, and let's have some fun. Hope to see you guys soon in some other videos. Till then, stay awesome and peace out, my friends.